My name is Sterling Chu. My company is Second Growth Homes. And today, I'm going to put a loft railing, a handrail, and I'm gonna get started on the ladder for this loft in a 20 by 30 cabin. So these are the pieces that we're starting with today. This is all Sitka spruce lumber. So these two two by fours are gonna be the posts on either side of where the loft ladder comes down, not over the fridge, sorry, right here, where the loft ladder comes down. And these two by two here are the balusters that go all the way across the uh, front of the loft up there. So I'm just gonna get my drill out here. I've got a tapered countersink on there. So we're gonna drill and countersink for the screws to attach these handrail posts and balusters. For the two by twos, I'm gonna do two screws. And for the two by four posts, we're gonna do four screws. We're using a nice star drive screw. And this is gonna be a really fun project. We're gonna get this handrail up there quick and then we'll get the loft ladder stringers shaped. And then we're gonna get the domino joiner out and join up a beautiful loft hand railing. <clears throat> okay, so just drilled my first couple holes and the countersink that I'm using is super dull. So when I go to drill the hole, it goes, the drill bit goes through no problem. But as soon as that countersink hits, it's very, very dull. So those countersinks are really expensive. Um, we're gonna go sharpen this one up. Okay, so just started our work day and our countersink is dull. Uh, we do have some newer ones here, but this one seems to be an okay shape, just a little bit dull. So go ahead and take the countersink off of that drill bit. And there, if you see it, you can see it's very dull and they're really easy to sharpen. I was actually going to put this onto another non-tapered drill bit and do it that way, but it's so easy to sharpen, I'm just gonna grab it with my vice grips and we're gonna do it real carefully here. Okay, so here we've got a slow spree grinder. So you just need to sharpen up the cutting edges of these four cutters. And I just did one, it came out perfectly. So when I'm doing stuff like this, our goal is always to just don't take off any more than you need to. You just need to very carefully line it up and then you roll it in just till that tip touches. And I roll it back a little bit right there and I can see that it's absolutely perfectly sharp so I'll do the rest of them here okay I'll show it to you out here in the light and see if we can ah, it's so hard to get to focus on that drill bit okay so we sharpened up our carbide countersink here and we're gonna go ahead and drill another hole, see how she goes. Ah, it's like absolute butter. Look, just the second 
The cutter touches the wood. It eats the full depth of the plug with no issue. Uh, the first ones I cut, it would not go. So, uh, it's like brand new. So you can sharpen your countersinks real easily and uh, they work great. Um, I usually do it with a sander. So I'll just hold the countersink onto a sander. I usually have a random orbital sander here. I'll just put this in my vice grips and hold it on the sander, sand it. But that, uh, that diamond grinding wheel of my dad's did a very, very nice job. They're basically hollow ground uh, carbide cutter and you know, I mean, you can touch that up 30 times, you know, before it's done. And uh, they're very expensive things, so. Huge part of woodworking is just knowing how to sharpen your tools. Like, a huge part of it. So here I've got my four holes countersunk and drilled, so those are ready to go. I'm just gonna show you one here. So when I grab this uh, countersink from my dad, it's actually my dad's countersink. <laughs> um, when I grabbed this countersink, it was absolutely dull. So it would drill through the wood the second the countersink hit the uh, second the countersink hit the timber, it would just absolutely stop. I mean, it would not even go. And took it over to my house in two seconds. We sharpened it up. Here we go. I mean, just nothing. No problem with this at all. It's just like brand new, and it'll be like that all day, probably for quite some time. Well, I got a great start to these handrails. Now I'm gonna start on the loft ladder and cutting the last balusters where the handrail meets the roof. Got my posts up where the ladder, loft ladder connects. I got my handrails on. And most of the balustrade's on, and it just just looks great. Really, uh, really brings the room together nicely. I can't wait to uh, have this ladder done. <laughs> well, this is one of the hardest parts about living remote: is leaving my parents' house with all of our stuff. You got to get all your stuff. Aira, Nell, the two dogs. And we got to get it all in this cart. It just so happens that right now is a great big rain squall. And the rain is pouring. So this is where Elizabeth really shines. Is at this part. What's the plan, Aira? Come on, let's go. Go on, go on the way down. Ah!
Okay, we made it home to Strawberry Island. Be a beautiful, flat, calm evening here. Just absolutely beautiful. And we are gonna head up. <laughs> I got a handle on it. Let me switch hands, babe. What? I'll take this. <laughs> I'll take this. <laughs> ah. Okay. Well, we just landed on the island. Elizabeth really overloaded. And we got lots of stuff. It's always good, though. We got a jug of water. Hi, Aira. Let's go. Okay. Oh, we're gonna head up the trail. Come on, Ava, keep going. Do to do to do. Head up the trail to our tent. Oh, this is always my favorite part. I like getting to the beach, but when I walk into this forest, this is when I'm happiest. Oh, babe, it's so nice in here. Oh, I do have to say, I've been living in a few different places on our boat, which I love, the wooden boat, and in Juno, in our big RV. But, geez, this island is impossible to beat. It is so nice. Oh, I just absolutely love it here. I could just, I can just like sit here all day. I'm so happy out here. Oh my God, this is beautiful. All right, how's the camp look, Aira? Oh, can you open it up, babe? <clears throat> Switch to it. Okay, Avery, let's go inside. Okay, you have to go pee. You gotta go pee? Okay. Oh, you have to go. Oh. Home sweet home. Oh, it looks great. All right. Burr. All right, we got this nice pile of firewood right here. Yep. We got some nice uh, rounds of firewood right there. I left this box for us to burn, so we're going to get the fire going, and I'm going to show you my newest uh, fire starting trick. Hey, where's my pan, babe? Oh, it's over here. Okay? Okay. So well, this has been, I probably shouldn't even show this, but <laughs> first thing you want to do when you're going to camp is to go to Costco and get some of this spray on pan. I mean, you can't beat it. You can make eggs in the pan. It saves you from doing dishes because nothing sticks. This is like, if I don't have this camping, I'm in trouble. So go to Costco, get yourself the pan. Well, then came home to camp the other day. I didn't have any tinder. I was really cold. And I was thinking about what to do. Everything was kind of wet. And uh, well, I picked up this pan of canola oil. Give a little spray in there. And it's got two part here. Stand back. Right now. Oh, see if it's right now. I made it with one P -O lime P O P C I C L E. Um, but then I think I put a little too much tequila in it. So then I had to add a little bit of our lemonade mix. Come on, get down. But then I made it really sweet. That's why I like it. I'll take it. So we'll see <laughs> what goes on. Mommy, happens. where's my puppy? Oh, Looks good. All right. Well, we're home in our uh, wall tent on Strawberry Island. 
the wood stove is cooking. We're uh, we're all cozy. We're all warm. It only takes a few minutes to warm up. It's just amazing. I mean, you can walk in here soaked like that thing. Just warm right up. He's not here, then that means that he's at Grammy and Pee Pops. So. <laughs> no, he might be here still. We have to finish looking around. Hey, sweetie, let's keep looking for your puppy, okay? No, this is I, so good. Well, maybe he's over here. Let's look over here. Okay? Just be nice to her, please. Oh. What's Daddy, up, Fayra? Can I have the camera that's on the top? Oh, do you want to use the little camera for a little while? Yeah. Oh, we're yeah. taking a family shot right now. Do you want to no, smile? No, no, I don't. I don't want to take a, a dog shot. What do you want to film, Ara? The dogs. You want to film the dogs? Yeah. Okay. Daddy, can I have a go? Yep. Okay. Daddy. Are you starting to on? <laughs> you see yourself on there? Yourself. You can turn around this way. You can hold it. No, I want to hold the beauty camera instead. Okay. Instead of the big camera. Instead of the big There you go. You no, know, I want to have the beauty camera. Okay, we go. Hey. Mm -hmm. um, Bluey. Okay. They are dogs. So when, okay. so when the kids come. Yeah, <laughs> Okay. Well, Kai is chilling. So we're gonna go out and uh, get some more firewood here. I think I've got another couple rounds already cut out here. So this is our little trail and I basically don't walk anywhere on the island other than this trail so the rest of the island is totally amazing in that it's there's no animals out here so no deer or anything so it's totally untouched um, just absolutely gorgeous it's absolutely gorgeous so And this trail's looking good. The dogs stay on it too, I don't know why. Okay, so this is where I was cutting. Oh yeah. It's absolutely beautiful, so. Got a couple pieces of wood here. And the ones I'm gonna get today, around right here. Look at the forest floor out here. I try not to even walk on it. So here's my three firewood rounds. So this is a dead spruce here. Can't even tell I cut it. So I'm gonna pick up these rounds here and head back to camp. Okay, we're gonna go help Sterling cook some food. So, one, Koa drop. <laughs> Koa! Gotta oh get the God. diaper from Koa. Um, two, let's see what we've got here. Oh, you have to season the steak first, babe. Oh, well, we're gonna season mom. Okay. okay, we're grilling. Dogs are bagging. God, those are so good. Kaya, Missy Moo, get out of there. You should show off this grill a little bit. This thing is so nice. So yeah. we got this with our boat. The brand is called Force 10. Numbers, Force 10. All the boat grills that I've used, that little thing right there is the best. I absolutely love it. It's pretty I awesome. Really do. I absolutely love it. It's a pretty awesome grill. 
Well, we gotta get a margarita going for Sterling since he's cooking us the food, so. <gasps> hey, mister, I hear ya. Little guy. Feel free to try that again anytime. Oh, there's the margarita cup. Okay. Margarita cup. Do you want me to start new or do you want to finish this off? Or? Yeah, start a new video and then make me a fresh margarita. There's nothing in there, is it? Okay, so we are making a margarita out here. So we have our bag of ice that we brought. Hey, big guy, I hear ya. Oh, so I just got him all situated. Now he's losing it. Okay, ice. And then instead of margarita mix, we have a lime, a melted lime popsicle. So, dump that in. And then our tequila from Costco, hence the giant bottle. Well, you know what? On the last one, I did water to water that down, but you know what? I think I'm going to use a little lime LaCroix. So I'll drink the lime LaCroix, and it gives still a little lime flavor in that. Okay. And stir it up with your popsicle stick that was included in the packaging. And... Okay, I'm a wimp, but works out. Okay, I gave him his margarita. <laughs> I tried it, it was a little strong. Let's see what, what do you think, babe? Have you tried it yet? No. Steaks are looking good. Steaks are looking good. It's good, it's a little stronger than the last one. Yeah. Try oh, it. I didn't put the lemon powder in. You want a little lemon powder? Sure. Be careful. Don't okay. drop it. That looks not, that's not like... Okay, let's try adding a little bit of this. It's uh just made it like sweet. It's a uh, true lemonade. Let's see if that makes it a GoPro screen so long, it's like or so small. Babe, are you burning the steaks? Huh? No, I'm trying to make good use of the propane. I don't want to run out of propane. So we're cooking them. Real good. It looks like it's going well. What do you think? You don't think so? At least we don't start a forest fire. It's pretty wet out. <laughs> yeah, we don't have to worry about that. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> a forest fire. All right, well, we're getting ready for dinner here. Steak just came off the grill. You guys better stay outside. <laughs> ah, one of those days where it's, uh, I mean, it's just so wet and rainy and cold that camping without that wood stove would be miserable. But with the hot stove, you can come out here with no rain gear get a little rain on you go in there dry out for a few minutes and oh it's just so pleasant so really nice now we got the steak done and here i'm cooking one of these loaves of bread we get from uh, costco so we get these guys from costco um they cook great in this barbecue just absolutely great and uh, you just bake that thing for a little while, pretty short time. It takes like 10 minutes in here and uh, oh, it's just the most wonderful bread. I can't, uh, I can't recommend that enough. Barbecue's great, it's great in the oven. Um, <laughs> it's beautiful out here, it's cold and wet, but beautiful. And uh, just incredible how uh, how cozy this tent is. I am absolutely impressed. I will get yours. 
I purchased these online. I have three of these same tents uh, purchased from the wall tent shop. 1-800-234-1150. And uh, I just absolutely love it. I bought the electrical conduit for this tent at Home Depot. Oh, that's I've, looking so good, Elizabeth. I've never had problems with the paper plates before until you <laughs> jinxed me. Every single time we've cooked steaks, I've been totally She's fine so cutting funny. it on this paper plate, and now it's like totally running through. I, know, I told you it's the... Remember that? I always got that premonition. I told her, I said, you need to find a cutting ah, board ah, to ah. cut the steak on. That is so funny. We don't have a cutting board. Oh, we got Aris. That's okay. We can clip it out. Okay. Okay. Well, here we go again. We're back out here to check on the bread. I love it out here. There's so many amazing places in Alaska you can go that are like this, just totally untouched. It's absolutely amazing. Ooh. Yes, please. Well, this just looks absolutely wonderful. So this grill is from Force 10, F-O-R-C-E, Force and then 10. I can't quite read it right there, but Forest 10. Um, this thing is sweet. This steak and this Costco bread is one of our favorite meals. And, uh, you know, it bakes like an oven and it cooks like a grill. It's absolutely wonderful. Ooh, that's just about there. Just about done, babe. Elizabeth doesn't like camp cooking, but for me, I'd rather be camp cooking than home cooking. So, just want you to know, babe, I'm pulling this one off perfectly. The bread is done right when you're done cutting the meat. Can I have your other knife? Clean perfection. No, that's the knife. No, can I have your other knife? No. That's this the best knife. This knife is useless. What do you mean? This knife is useless. It's not sharp? No, it's not sharp. Like, I, it's right. Look at my hair, babe. <laughs> I gotta get a haircut. <laughs> Well, what do you think? That's not a thumb, but a thumbs up. Did you just flick me off on camera? No, it was a knife. <laughs> I was using the knife as the thumb. <laughs> we'll try this one again. I love you, sweetie. Look at you. Okay. So Grab one of the most important things about living in a small space, whether it's a boat, or okay. in this case, a wall tent is respecting each other's personal space. Yeah, grab a couple and now, okay, that's enough. It's very no, important. I, okay. Now give, ah! now give my body some space. Daddy, this will make a good one. So Aira, yep. Yeah. Oh yeah, do you want to put it on? Yes. Look at this. 